<laughs> oh. Wait, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> you when and you do uh, boy girl content. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Okay. And he cheated on you <laughs> with. Someone that I didn't know about. That's okay. where the cheating comes in. More lying, I guess. I mean, it's cheating and right. lying. But so. to be clear, so you, while in a relationship, monogamous relationship with you, he was having with other women. It was like more like an emotional thing, which I kind of found worse. Was he was like talking to someone? Oh, one second. Killer of cereal donated two hundred dollars. My new favorite question for the mm, panel. I haven't written it down. embarrassing moment on a date? Brian, apologies for last episode. That screeching banshee was under my skin. Didn't mean to be demanding. Hey, Great kill show. cereal. All good, man. Uh, I, by the way, I, I don't know if you caught the end of the show. I, we had forgotten to ask this precise question. I have it written down in my, uh, my notes here to actually ask it and have your name here. Uh, sorry that we kind of missed it there. Just a uh, pretty hectic show, but... Uh, you didn't have to do that. I was actually going to ask <laughs> ask that, but thanks for the TTS, man. Appreciate it. Really good to see in the stream. Uh, so you said it was emotional cheating. Yeah, he was like talking to someone for like over a month, and it was just like I don't know. We were falling off at that point, anyways. So like I kind of understood, but it still mm. is like saddening. <laughs> okay. I don't understand shit. Nope, I don't. Understand. I don't. Understand. I don't understand shit. I don't. I don't. If you're falling off, bro, you're still together. That doesn't mean talk to you all need to work through your shit. Like, I don't care if y'all argue every fucking second of the damn day. As long as y'all together. Or y'all still working it out. Or y'all on a break, whatever. Y'all still communicating, bro? Work it the fuck work the fuck out. Work it out. Stop doing that shit. Y'all be trying y'all be trying to give up. Stop doing that shit, bro. So he didn't like have hook up? No, as far as I know at least. I mean, mm. who knows? Interesting. <laughs> okay. He didn't have any issues with the fact that you were like sleeping with men for work granted, he kind of had issues at first but like i don't know then it just like went away mm -hmm. i guess and he just didn't care anymore but Qu question did it never went away he cared it never went away it never did what happened was he cared after he cared he didn't he, he cared because she was the only one that probably what it was He probably met her. She was the only partner at the time. Only girl he can get with. She probably rocked his world. And he got struck. He got, uh... Hair went out, sorry. He got pussy whipped, probably. Most most likely got pussy whipped. Then he found other women. Because she was sleeping around, he found other women. Then he stopped caring. But what happened was, he started getting, getting emotionally attached to other women. That was her problem. You see how she's saying, like, it wasn't really him cheating? It was the emotional part? Well, yeah, dude. Can we have emotions? You can't, you can't, like, you can't get rid of your emotions. Sex is an emotional thing. You can't get rid of that emotion. You can suppress it, but it's going to eventually come back out. It's going to come back out. You can't get rid of it. So, yes, having multiple, having multiple partners will suppress the emotional, sexual, Spirit in you will suppress it, and that probably what happened to her. Probably got well, not that happened to her, but like probably with her, she can suppress it with other dudes. But with him, she probably liked him, or I mean, I think she loved him. But I feel like she loved him, she would never done. She stopped only fans. Now, if you really love somebody, bro, you wouldn't want to be touched by anybody else. I promise you, you wouldn't. Did you meet him prior to starting work in the industry? No, so I've okay, been so in the industry for about in. four years. He knew going yeah. in, yeah, yeah, okay. But then, as oh, the relationship developed, if he knew going in, you would just fuck. Developed, he started to have an issue with it. Well, yeah, like it's, it's like you would just a fuck. He's all getting feelings for you. At first, you would just a fuck. He's all growing, growing feelings for you. Then you start fucking other women and growing feelings for them. That would happen. I guess it developed in the beginning. He had an issue, and mm -hmm. then it went away, and it was like fine. And yeah. then we broke up. Basically. Would there be like <laughs> a waiting period? Like, if you have a scene, or like, would he want to wait to like smash? No, like a week? we like never a like talked about that. At least, like, but would you would you give him like a heads up? Like a like I mean, he knew. I would be like, hey, I'm going to a shoot today. What's that? I'd be like, hey, I'm going to a shoot today. What if it's like a shoot, but there's like no D? Like it's just did like you a guys. Chick. Did you guys ever do the deed after you went to a shoot? 
I mean, not that I can think of. I didn't write it down. I don't know. <laughs> she was not keeping track. Not keeping track. No. Okay. All right. I'm curious what he took. Crazy, bro. Like. Girls really will like completely this, bro. And y'all don't see this shit. Like, she would do OnlyFans. But if you, but if the guy touched another girl with cheating, then she will be like, well, you knew that dating. You're correct. I didn't know. You're right. That's, that's what, that's the guy's fault. He knew that. But logically, if you just, just think of it on a logical standpoint. So you're sleeping with other people because you call it work, but I can't. <laughs> okay. I'm going to do only fans then. Yep, it work. So I'm going to go fuck other people. It's work. Then they won't call you a nipple tip and shit. Mm, it's work. I'm, I'm, I'll bring home money. Yeah, I'm going to bring home some money. Yep, i bring home money. It's work. I got a new job. It's work. Yeah, they, they, they won't have the same energy. Took issue with? Like, is it insecurity? Is it? Oh, no. And I'm wondering if you have dealt with a similar... I mean, thing with, you know, not every man definitely wants to see the person they love getting. And, and it's crazy, y'all call that, and it's crazy, y'all call that insecure. A guy not wanting to see his girlfriend get fucked, y'all call him that insecure. Pounded on TV, other people <laughs> yeah. don't care. Yeah. <laughs> um, I feel like that's something that if you are seeking like if you are in the industry and you want to go and get into a relationship with a civilian that is something that you know should be discussed and yeah. learn your boundaries for right. each other like maybe it's no kissing maybe it, don't call them this or that whatever mm -hmm. the boundary may be it's up sure. to the two people to respect each other's boundaries and if it's something you can't do then you know that obviously that yeah. relationship just isn't for you I just ask, I could be generalizing, and I don't know, Brian, if you come across this on the show often, but I, I don't know, I feel like a guy who is, I'm generalizing here again, mm -hmm. but a guy who's like secure enough in himself and in you and your choices and your power and what you want to do, why would you? Guys, don't sit there and let, you, let her call you insecure because you don't want your girlfriend getting fucked. Don't let these women sit here and call you insecure because they you don't want to see your girlfriend getting fucked online. That's not insecure at all. That's not insecure. It's a boundary. Do you have an issue with that? On the guy's end, you yeah. know what I mean? Like, I love what you said about, you know, communicating what? and being transparent and each other's boundaries. <laughs> who did say, who said what? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> Wait, so you're saying if the guy is secure, yeah. he won't have an issue with it? Exactly. If if it's the, Crazy, if it's bro. made in the woman's choice and her power, and she's well knowing and full knowing, like, hey, this is what I do for a living. This is what I want to do. Then, like, it's like roll with or roll out. Like, they should respect well, so that. If I, what if is I'm, uh? What is insecure? Wait. <laughs> why should we? Why should we respect? Why we respect that? Why do why do we have to respect you doing that? Like, I just have to respect you fucking somebody else. We can't even call you mine. You can't. I literally can't even call you mine. Like, I can't call you mine, bro, because you're sharing yourself with somebody else. I can't call you mine, bro. So why are you marry you? Why are you marry? Because you love me. I love a lot of shit, okay? And I ain't marrying it. That's all I'm saying. Pretty mean from your perspective. Well, if a guy, well, you guys are saying if they're watching you, you know, get smashed, as you said, <laughs> I assume that they would, that would make them feel insecure, right? And or yeah, maybe just you, uncomfortable wait, sometimes. Because yeah. why? You watch your partner get fucked. That's not feeling insecure. That you feeling hurt. Well, well, Could that just it. be gross? Yeah, uh -huh. I don't think it necessarily means they're insecure. It could make people uncomfortable, you know. Yeah. But like, let's get in to the the industry. Industry. I guess yeah. what I'm getting at, and you guys are guys. Let's get to the root of why, though. That's what I'm saying. But is, I, it, nah, is nah, it stigmatized? No, 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 bro. She weird. No, nah, she weird, bro. Gross. It's like. Can no. I, well, what, what do you mean? Hold I can on. Remove the air quotes on gross, by the way. But go ahead, Andrew. Yeah, it's not a stigmatization. It's not a stigmatization. Um, from your from your purview, you believe evolution is true. 
Of course. Yeah, so if you believe evolution is true, before we had DNA testing, how... Evolution is true, to an extent. To an extent. How would you determine whether or not a child was yours from a male's perspective? How would you be able to determine that? Hang on, I'm talking about in a controlled... Yeah, so hang on. Hang on. Don't like obfuscate. Don't obfuscate. About. Let's stay, <laughs> hang on. Let's stick, <laughs> let's stick with this. Let's stick with this. Okay, I'm trying to answer let's your go. Question. Let's go evolution. Okay. Let's go. How would a man determine paternity before there was DNA testing? How, how could he do that? How could he determine that's my child? Why are we talking about child birth? Answer the answer question. The answer the question, bro. I feel like we're getting persecuted. Um, before DNA testing? Yeah. She she thinking too hard. She's trying to think. She's trying to think how he get, how he can compare what he's. I can like interact what he just the question with what she's saying. And she's not gonna be able to figure it out. So she won't fuck up the question. She won't think too hard, and she's not gonna answer the question right unless she just dives into it. It's so which which it seems like she's about to do. Yeah. Why do you? How, how do you think a man would be able to best determine whether a child was his or not? Their partners, how the child. How looks. Yeah. So well. So, so if they were in a relationship where the woman was only sleeping with him, and that could be determined she was only sleeping with him, that would assure paternity, right? Sure, but yeah. if we're talking, okay, so if we're talking evolution, mm -hmm. you know, knowing about evolution, mm -hmm. that going way back, right, men biologically, even now to this day, why men are so visual, so physical, have that impulse to s survive, spread their seed, basically bone everybody right where okay. women tend to be the nurturers but wait hang on a sec women tend to be the nurturers right there's a different role that now we're trying to navigate that like those neanderthal tendencies in a in a yeah. you know modern world but i don't i'm not sure but that, by that negates logic, the point though but by that logic mm -hmm. the women it could go the other way right no mm -hmm. so let's let us assume for a moment that you're correct and that <laughs> every that, it. that the, the the reason why I, so Pretty much what she just said was she pretty, pretty much said back in the time in cavemen, men was men is kind of how we are now, but way worse. We want we spread our seed literally everywhere. Like we just kept fucking and fucking and fucking. Then she's saying now she's saying with evolution, time caught up. Now it flipped. Women want to do the fucking, 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 fucking. Can't do that. There's a difference. The reason being. Guys, guys can I can have sex with fifteen women in one night and get all fifteen pregnant in one night. You can only get pregnant once. So if you had a kingdom and you was you had a kingdom and you was the uh lead, you was a queen of your kingdom, and I had a kingdom and I was a king of my kingdom. You had twenty men in your kingdom. I had twenty women in my kingdom. We we get fifth. We get twenty. We get. Yeah, we get 15 years, nah, 20, we get 25 years to raise an army. I guarantee you I'll beat you. Oh, I'll populate you. Why? Because you have, because you, you have to, you can only get pregnant once. Let's say you don't get twins or none of that shit. You can only get, you get pregnant once. You gotta wait nine months. Them 20 girls out there, I just knock them the fuck up. So, so I know in nine months I have 20, I have 20 kids coming. You know, in nine months, you have one kid coming. Then you got, I think, a month or two or three recovery. Then you do it again. Now, you gotta wait. And they gotta wait again. With me, boom, I do it again. So now I went from twenty to forty. You and you went to two. Now let's now let's say, then we get now let's say we get to the age. Now let's say we get to the point of reproduction. Not not everybody having sex with each other. By the time then, I'm like. Times ten, times fifteen, times twenty. Your numbers. You don't get the point. Yeah, that's why men can spread seed. That's why men can spread seed like that. Women can't. Um. Actually, bro, back in back in the day, uh, men had men had like back in like ancient Greeks, uh, Spartan like Spartans and shit. They would share each other wives. But they were like they would sleep with each other's wives. I guess I've got I think it was like an honor thing, but they would sleep with each other's wives. A lot of times dudes would just have sex just for population, cause like they needed population. That's why men were spreading seed like that why men was fucking like that. And I think it happened for so long it got into our DNA. Cause genetics is real. That genetic shit that that shit's real. 
um, they got into our DNA. That's why some men are fucking horn dogs and some men are just not. Um, but in today's time, we don't need we don't need to do that no more because we're not lacking in the human population. So we don't really need to do that no more. That's why like one on one marriage is thing that really a big thing now. But back then, oh yeah, they were fucking they were that every man on planet Earth that. wants to hump as many women as they possibly can. Let's just assume it for the sake of argument that yes. they do. Okay, that still would have nothing to do with wanting the women that they're sleeping with to sleep with other men. And the reason for this is because of the assurance of paternity. Women uh, can take the DNA from multiple men, but there's no assuredness that that then is going to be your child. That's the problem. And so the reason it's ingrained in men to find it revolting when their significant other is sleeping with another person besides them at any point, at least this is most men, is because that's ingrained in us because of that paternal But issue. you're missing my point. You said it's revolting for men, right? It's mm -hmm. a societal standard because of this. It's no. like when a woman sleeps around, she's that's a slut. So, when that's a guy, sociological. Hang on a second, I'm saying please. it's biological. Wait, wait, hang on. When a man sleeps around, he's a stud. So mm -hmm. by that logic, you say repulse, revolt. It should be yeah, the other way around, right? Women are no, like revolted of men sleeping around. around. It's like that's not that's not a social thing. Like, well, it's I mean. She can say social, but that's not really a social thing. Women love men of status. Like, for all the time, you know, women love kings. They love pharaohs. They love the top men. And what did the top men have a lot of? Women. He always had a lot of women. And women kept chasing him. That's why he's like that. That's why when a that's why when a girl that's why like when a guy has a lot of bodies, women love him. In today's time when a girl has a lot of bodies, men reject that shit. Like, bro, ill bitch. Like, we, we reject that shit. That just it, it, that's been all of time. It's not new. It's been all of time. It's how it is. That's always been like that's not new. It's like I'm just saying. Yeah, it, but it wouldn't be the other way around. You're talking about a so <laughs> so. Right, you're proving my point. No, I'm not. You're talking okay. about a sociological versus a biological phenomenon. So the sociology. But they, but they I'm, meet. I'm kind of trying to explain it to okay. you. Okay. The sociology is meeting with the biology. True, but why? Well, it's meeting with the biology because men are revolted by promiscuous women. Women are not necessarily revolted by promiscuous men. Well, That's it's, so, so it's hang on, hang on. And culturally, hang on, we've been hang on. Let me finish. You can talk in a second. I'm almost done. Okay. Oh, thanks. Okay. So after, so after we get this foundational uh, principle established that men are generally revolted by promiscuous women, but women are not generally revolted by promiscuous men biologically. Yes, the sociological phenomenons which spiral out of that, that's true, but it's the, the, the basis of it is the biological phenomenon. I think we're kind of saying the same thing, sort of, not are. really. No. Can I interject really quick? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, just, I wasn't sure if I was gonna bring this up earlier, um, but I'll say in the least detailed way, I used to be a sex worker, mm -hmm. um, and I was a sex worker that involved sleeping with um, men. Um, and Liza was, we, we were in a relationship for a period during that time. Was it like, are you talking about institution? Um, not exactly, and I don't want to get into the details on here, but, okay. um, and I did do all so I can, I can relate to some of these ladies. I wasn't on professional sets, but. Were you escorting? Um, in a way, I just, I don't really, I don't know if I want to say on that right now, but, um, but my point Whatever is that. Whatever fan donated $200, <laughs> seeing my girl getting pounded out by a bunch of dudes is a hard no for me, dog. Pause. <laughs> Most dudes do not want to wipe a girl who sleeps around even if it's for work purposes. Let Andrew cook. Right, and so what I'm Thank you, talking whatever. about now um, is, I think, a really unique perspective as a lesbian with a woman partner. Um, and Liza can correct me if I'm wrong, but um, she loved me through the whole thing. She, sh she supported me, and there was an insecurity there because of the fact that um, Liza knows that she's, she, we, we used to always joke about it the last 12 years, like she wins. Like anyone I've ever dated, they always are insecure around her because they know, like, she's who I love, not them. Grid One Motorsports <laughs> donated $200. I missed the bump up. To continue the thought when you look back on a life of shattered relationships, it was your degenerate behavior that lead to you being alone and the neighborhood cat lady. <laughs> but I uh, so so grid one, <laughs> grid one, uh, appreciate the TTS. Yeah, we, we actually didn't do, uh, we're not doing 69 today. We just, we have a lot to get through, so it's just uh, tuned in up. But grid one, really good to see you in the chat. Uh, really quick, just before I have you continue. So Andrew's talking about paternity uncertainty, but given the nature of your relationship, right. since you're both lesbians, right. there's no scenario where she could exactly. doubt the paternity if you two were to have ch 
I mean, you'd have to adopt or there would yeah. have to be some sort of, you'd have to have a, do a donor. Right. So it's not, I mean, you're welcome to chime in, but I don't think this is actually addressing yeah. Andrew's I think argument. It, I think it's Can addressing the insecurity portion. I was yeah. just saying my partner okay. didn't feel insecure yeah. about me doing those things. In fact, she felt supported right. because that money helped their dreams come true. Would that be the right. opposite? Well, can I just insecurity? say one thing? That's what, because when I was thinking, like, what would men potentially... With that, I mean, that, that, made, that, made, that makes no sense because she's a female. So you're not thinking like a male. So she's a, your friend supports you. Your female friend supports you. Of course you're going to support you. Like what? Of course you want to support you. Feel so is lacking a security. And sense. with that, uh, honestly, we don't have that because there's no worry of a child. So I'm just, we're just saying, we. Un I see the bio, like how a man could feel that way. Mm -hmm. And that we didn't experience that, that wasn't something that was a point of contention in that specific sure. experience.